Hi there, it's just a short video to capture some strange family editor behavior that I, I don't recall happening in past releases, at least years ago. It seems now that if I take the trouble to constrain, let's say imagining a door elevation here, I've got a fixed value or a parameter driving the mid rails, their height, and an equality statement to drive the center line between them so if I could position them accurately. Now if I leave those constrained this way and then simply add a dimension on this side, if I start to flex this with those rules in place and then click on the five foot value, when I change it to six, watch what happens to my reference planes. They get a little wild there. If I change it the other direction to say maybe four foot six, it goes a little crazy that way. Now if I grab all three and force activate dimensions to kick in and change it to six, ah, now they suddenly play along. So there's some sort of inherent bust or problem between the fact that these are constrained with a parameter and this isn't. Now initially I thought, oh, you know, maybe it's these lock features over here if I remove the locks, thinking, oh, well, that'll solve it, you know, make this six instead. It doesn't yell at me, but it doesn't exactly honor my intentions here either. So if I change this back, I can get what I want, but it's a little strange. I'm not understanding personally why this it's not respecting or holding this dimension. If I lock it, then Re Revit ends up yelling at me about the the lock being need to be released in order to make that change. So I can grab all three, activate dimensions, and do what I want to do. Or I guess what Revit's really expecting me to do at this point is to be more formal and simply add another parameter and say mid rail L. As soon as I do that, it starts playing along. I guess the moral of the story is we can no longer assume that the fact that we've given some rules over here suddenly makes some other in interloper like this dimension uh, do what we think it will do short of getting careful and specific and adding a dimension or a label and a parameter to this dimension string so that we have uh, no ambiguity, I guess. Something to look out for as you try to constrain your families. Remember, we're trying to keep our families in line, right? No troublemakers. Over and out.